Hey everyone, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate our iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and first power it on. So the power on button is on your right hand side. You're going to press and hold until the Apple logo appears so the phone can power on if it's your very first time. Now, if it doesn't power on the very first time, you might need to consider charging it. Sometimes out of the box, it might need a charge. So go ahead and charge it up. Now, in this process, this is a US model iPhone 14 Pro Max, which means it only has eSIM card. If you have one that a, has a physical SIM card, that's the international version, there's a physical SIM card tree you can put on the left-hand side. There will be a little hole there, and you want to insert your SIM card using the SIM ejector tool or paper clip or a earring piece. Now, once you have started your phone, simply swipe up, select your language, and then your country or the region. So I'm just going to select that and then your appearance that you like. So you can choose it to be default, medium, or large, the icon, so hit continue, keep it as default. And then from here on, you're gonna do a quick setup. You can set up with your previous device if you have it here, or you can just uh, set up later, or just do a manual setup. And from there on, you're gonna to need to go ahead and select your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here. Now, once you enter your Wi-Fi password, click on join here so that you can be connected to your Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can also use your computer to select this process, but you do need to get connected to the internet in order for the phone to start off for the very first time part of the setup process. So we're gonna wait for it. Uh, it's just a couple minutes, but it should go quick. And then you have your data and privacy. You can read through this or hit just continue. And then if you wanna set it up for yourself or child, you have the option, I'm just gonna set up myself as an adult, and then Face ID, now you can use Face ID to do a lot of things, like unlock your phone, use Apple Pay, and much more. So you wanna go ahead and set it up, but I'm not setting it up because that'll take a little bit of time, so you can only set it up later. And then a passcode, make sure you put a passcode here. You have the option to do the six digit uh, or pin, basically, or a four digit, or alphanumeric, or whatever the option. If you choose, you can simply not do a passcode, which I highly discourage, but I'm just doing this part, part of the setup process. But of course, go ahead and enter a password here. Now from there on, if you have a older iPhone or another device that you're looking to bring your data over, even from Android, you can bring your device over, select the appropriate option. If you have iCloud backup, you can also do that. Or if you choose simply not to back up anything and start fresh, you can select, don't transfer anything. But if you want your data, this is the time to go ahead and pick one of those options to set it up. I'm just gonna do none. Now from there on, we have Apple ID. Now, Apple ID is gonna be important when it comes to downloading apps, using any of the Apple services, like iMessage, FaceTime, and all of that. So if you don't have one, you can create one for free with your device, or you can sign into existing one if you already have one. So what are the options it is? I'm just gonna simply click I don't have one, and when I don't have one, you can also we have to mention reset your password from previous one if you happen to forget it or you can create a free one like i said here and or you can to, to set up later in the settings but you will need apple id to do like i said apple pay apple uh, app store downloads and anything apple related so i'm just going to simply set up later just so i can skip through the process but you want to go and sign in of course hit agree for the terms and condition and then if you want to keep your phone automatically updated hit continue iMessage and FaceTime, if you want to use those services, which comes with your iPhone and iOS services. Location services, you can have this on so you can use things like maps and other services. You can turn it on or turn it off or set up later. I'm just going to turn on. Siri is a voice assistant. When you hit continue, you get to select Hi, a voice. I'm Siri. Then hit continue or select any other voice and you can speak the five commands so Siri can recognize your voice or you can always set up later. I'm just going to do that. And then if you want to improve uh, Siri dictation, you want to go ahead and click on share recording, or if you don't, that's totally fine. Screen time, if you want to weekly report of your device, you can hit continue or set up later. And then iPhone analytics, if you want to share with Apple, I generally don't, but up to you. And then if you want light versus dark, you can also choose that hit continue. Final emergency SOS, if you want that service, this which comes with it, you just hit continue and you're welcome and set up to your iPhone. Now, you might be wondering if you had an eSIM card, how does that work? So if you bought a phone from a carrier, there should be already an eSIM attached with that phone. Now, if you bought an unlock phone or through some other method or you're looking to go ahead and activate it on another carrier, they should give you a QR code that you can add by going to your settings, cellular, 
and then here you should already see it already there for you if not you can click on add a eSIM card or set up eSIM when you do that you will have the option once you click on it to a transfer uh, from a nearby iPhone if you had an old phone or you can use a QR code scanner that they give you or email it to you and you can scan that or you can enter this manual information which you can get from your carrier to activate phone services. So that's how you activate the phone service after you set up your iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max. I hope this video was helpful so please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices and for more tips tricks and giveaways like we're going to be doing in the future hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys next time